how to stop smoking just stop it okay just stop it right there get some help get my help if you are serious about smoking get in touch with me via a spiritual consultation the link to get in touch with me that will be down below on Facebook you need to reach out to me video chat with me I'll change your life why because I can clearly see you for who you are what you're dealing with what you're struggling with I can see you as easily if you're driving on the road. I'd be like, okay, there's a car there. There's a little thing here. Uh, my watch out for this little cone. The speed limit is this. And there's a little traffic lights coming up. That's how clearly I can see your life. Meaning you're like driving a road and you're like, oh, I can barely, I don't know what's going on. No, no, it's okay. I can see, just keep going straight. There's a little traffic lights. Maybe stop, okay, turn left. That's, what, that's how valuable it can be to have a spiritual advisor on your corner. And does this cost a million dollars, some little small fortune? Well, it should, but no, it doesn't, okay? I'm willing to talk to you for free, absolutely free, nothing, zero dollars. All that I ask in exchange is if you feel the kindness out of your own heart after the conversation is done, you can simply throw me some donations, you know, some coins or whatever you feel like is, is worthwhile in my PayPal link also down below. So if you don't know who I am, I'm a spiritually enlightened master, Buddhist monk, blah, blah, blah. I've attained liberation at 27 years of age. Here I am talking to you, uh, preaching enlightenment and the Buddha's teachings. First and foremost, how do you stop smoking? How do you do anything in life? How do you have a blissful, happy, healthy life? How do you in, uh, go to the upward trajectory of life? You follow the five moral precepts, which are again, do not kill, do not steal, do not lie, do not misuse your sexuality, do not intoxicate your mind. I'm pretty much gonna be saying this and sharing this pretty much until the, the rest of my life, the, until the day I die, because it's made the biggest difference in my life. This is the foundation of the Buddha's teachings. This is one third of all the teachings that the Buddha's ever taught. One third of it is morality, the five moral precepts, okay? So this is also the path to enlightenment. If you think you're gonna become enlightened and you go out and kill and kill and steal and lie, okay, good luck. We'll see how that goes for you. It's not gonna happen. So let's get back on topic. How to stop smoking, okay? Uh, if you can't tell, I'm moving around because mosquitoes are biting you from every direction. So how to stop smoking? Just stop it. It's very simple. It's not a little, it's not something you need to do. It's not something you need to do, first of all. You don't, you don't need to do this. It's like you need to eat food, okay? And uh, getting over a, hold on, let me uh, change the camera angle here a little bit so I can comfortably talk to you. It's not like, it's not like stopping a food addiction, which is quite hard. Why is it quite hard? Because I just figured out how the camera works for the first time, how I'm gonna continue making videos. I need to talk to you directly to the camera not from how it looks like but how i can see you right there the eye anyways moving forward you know a person that's addicted to eating food it's much more difficult for them to get over that addiction than smoking smoking is like the simplest addiction to drop it's like it's like just a little it's like a little you're holding a dirty coin yeah, just drop it buddy that's it that's all it takes why do i say food is more uh, harder because it's more addictive simply because it's so rewarding for your body to eat it it's uh, something that you need to do you need to eat food but you're somewhat a little bit confused in how much food you're intaking. You're not feeling the subtle vibrations of your body. And you're out there and you're consuming all sorts of things. And uh, it's not very, very good for you. So it's something your body needs. Okay. Also various things the body needs. Like for example, sexuality. People are addicted to this. Uh, in all of the forms that sexuality takes place. This is also something that the body needs. Okay. Your body needs to reproduce. It's like a huge need and a huge desire in you. It's genetics. It's uh, how we're, we're all here. So that's also quite difficult because you need also some severe understanding. Like, okay, this is how the body works and it's not necessary for me to do this in this way and this is how it is, this is how it is. I have many videos about semen retention and this whole, this whole act. You should watch that. But smoking is not like that. It's not the body needs, the body doesn't need this. It doesn't have any advantages. You know, I'm talking to some guy that's like spiritually understanding some things and he smokes cigarettes and he's like oh smoking cigarettes gives you this advantage well. buddy everything gives you an advantage okay i'm sure that in some hypothetical situation if some human being were to hypothetically drink small amounts of bleach i'm sure the bleach also have some advantage like it will kill some microbes by the way don't drink bleach obviously it's very very bad but just an example okay uh you can find it a, a positive for anything okay i'm sure if you go put your hand in front of a fire it also has some advantages you can find advantages to everything Smoking doesn't have advantages in this way. It's gonna increase your testosterone or you're gonna concentrate better. Buddy, there are normal, there are normal ways of doing it. Instead of inhaling some air or some, uh, some smoke into your lungs. It's not needed, it's not wise. Okay. 
So, why do I say it's so easy to drop? It's like dropping a simply a dirty coin, a, a penny of a dirty penny. And it's like no bank's gonna accept this. I don't just drop it, okay? It's like that. But you know, it's illegal to destroy money, so maybe don't drop a coin. But it's like some dirty little thing that you have in your hand. Just drop it, okay? It's like that. It, your body doesn't need to have smoke inside of its lungs. Your body is not designed to have smoke in its lungs. Like if you just get that, it's poof. It's simple. Your lungs are designed to be healthy, clean, clear, pure for them to be strong and for them to consume pure oxygen, not cigarette smoke. It's, an, it's something that you're doing that's unnatural. It's like, how do I stop taking a rock and hitting myself over the head like couple, like, you know, five, six, seven times really hard. And then I can't seem to be do, stop doing this. It, it like hurts, but it also gives me some a little bit of pleasure. It's like, buddy, there's no DNA. There's no, there's no um, reward for your genetics to, uh, you know, reward you in this way. If you can truly see you're hitting your head against uh, with a rock for some like unknown, unnatural reason. Maybe on the TV screen, you saw some guy was hitting his head against with a rock and they're like, oh, Marlboro or some little company, hit your head against the rock. You're so cool. And five, 10, 15 times you see that and the guy's with some beautiful woman, you're gonna be like, oh wow, maybe if I do this, I'll get there. Okay, that's one way. Another way is like all sorts of funny things. Ultimately, what you're doing is you're trying to destroy your body. You're trying to destroy your, your mind or your life or your lungs, okay? You're trying to feel some warmth inside of your chest, inside of your lungs. Try to warm up your heart. There are better ways of doing it, okay? Instead of smoking cigarettes, go replace it with uh, smoking, uh, not smoking, but drinking tea. Go drink some tea. You're trying to meet some needs and it's a very poor way of meeting your needs. Smoking this little vapor. So go actually meet your actual needs instead of stimulating yourself in some little minuscule way. So this comes as a result of me watching Sadhguru's videos on Sadhguru's video on how to stop smoking cigarettes. I watched it yesterday. It's definitely worth watching. And I'll summarize it here. He said essentially some of the things he said is like, he said, I don't care if you smoke. It's, it's like, okay, you're smoking. It's not some big moral issue, you know? Maybe you're getting some pleasure out of it. It's like, good job. But it's not like it's the only source of pleasure. And also it's very detrimental and jam damaging to you. So you better off not do this. You better off stop. Also, it's not some big thing that you need to stop. It's like, just drop it. It's like, if you realize it's stupid, it's harmful, it's wrong. That's all that it takes. It's like, buddy, you're hitting your head against the rock. But yeah, I know, but it's like, maybe something good will come out of this. No. Oh my God, I'm hitting my head against the rock. Oh my God, why was I doing, why am I doing this? You just set it down. That's it. So simple. That's how you stop smoking. Why else? Well, smoke deals with a more kind of etheric dimension, you know? Smoke produces something called Akash. So maybe you're smoking, why for you to get some insight or wisdom into your life? Also, you're inhaling, it's an inhaling act. You're consuming oxygen. So why don't you just do that normally? Why don't you just go outside and go like this? You wanna do this, but with cigarettes. Wow, I feel euphoric just from that. But no, you gotta go pay some guy $10 for you to buy some little carcinogenic little sticks and for you to inhale that. Why? Because you're cool and you're doing cool things with your life. No. So that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to inhale. That makes you feel good because you're inhaling. What else is it doing? Uh, the, the deeper that you inhale, naturally your body exhales, your lungs expand and your brain starts to work better. And the only thing is you're adding bad substances into your lungs. You know, I saw a smoker once and he was uh, coughing up this black phlegm. I don't know how you can cough up black phlegm and then go about your life and think, oh, yeah, everything is fine and dandy and la di da da. Buddy, you need to open your eyes, open your mind, see the truth of what reality, what you just do, what you just did. You're coughing up some black stuff, uh, tar, shouldn't be long in your body. You know, I don't know how your body doesn't scream at you every five seconds. Hey, buddy, we, this doesn't belong in me. Don't do this. Don't do this. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It is doing that. You just can't. Uh, you're drowning out the noise with your mind. Oh, I gotta smoke because all oh, these reasons and all oh, this and that and all oh, this and that. I don't care if it's even addictive. It's like, who cares, okay? Everything is addictive. It's fine, just drop it. It's leave it. It's, I swear to you, if your mind shifts, it doesn't become addicted anymore. No matter how little physical advantages, little, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. The most could be the most addictive thing in the world. If you truly understand your mind shifts, you see the clarity for what this is, that's it. There's no more problems with it. You could just drop it instantaneously. Poof, gone.